everybody, this is Letty and this is a video response to JBLDY Scrapper 48 and her challenge was to alter a spoon or a fork and we could do both but we would have to do a separate video response and this is my video response to an altered spoon. First, uh, what I did with the spoon, I bend the spoon like this and then I painted it with uh, white acrylic paint um, on both sides and it has two coats Oops, has two coats of white acrylic paint and then when it was dried what I did I am um, I edge of uh, I edge it uh, with um, the Tim Holtz distress ink the tea dye and also I rubbed it on the design of the spoon so it can pop out. And then what I did, let me see if I can stand it right there. Okay. Then I added a doily on top of the spoon, a crochet doily. And then I added this um, nest that I had with the little bird. And then I just decorated the little bird with some little um, greenery on his head and a little tiny, tiny rose, a ribbon rose on his head. Then I added the two little eggs with some glitter on top and then a little Martha Stewart butterfly on the side. Then around the, the nest I put some greenery also and then a little um, bead, a little pearl. And then another Martha Stewart butterfly one of the tiny ones. And then, I don't know if I already said about the seam binding bow with some, a strand of beads and then a little paper flower and added some glitter also. Then on the little nest on this side, I added another tiny little rosebud and then another butterfly over here on the side. So that's how it looks right here in the, where the spoon. And then on the handle of the spoon, I just added another butterfly with the Martha Stewart punch. And then in the back, I just uh, glued some a little strand of beads so, so the spoon can be hanged. So this is my entry for her altered spoon. And I also altered some fork, uh, a fork, so I'm gonna have that on another video. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.